Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to show you a simple but powerful trick inside Comsol that you have probably never used. So how to automatically track your model version and last modified date using just a few line of code. Whether you are sharing your model with your team or just want to keep track of your own iteration, this method will inject versioning info right into your parameters node and update it automatically every time you run it. No more forgetting what changed and when. So let's dive into how we will actually do it. So here's the idea. Every time we run a method in console, we want it to automatically bump up the version number and stamp today's date into the parameters section. This gives us a quick visual history of when the model was last touched right in the settings. And the best part is that it's completely built in, no external tools, no manual editing, just pure console scripting. Uh, I will discuss how it is done and since you can actually modify it according to your need, according to the description that you want to write, this will be really helpful. So before we actually jump into the code, let me actually describe how it is done. So we start with the script. And then the script actually talks to the model and then we access the system time and then uh, we access the date and then use it to iterate the version. So basically once we have the new version number we update the model by setting the parameter using the set version tag. Then we shift the time and logic uh, so we fetch the current system time using get current time millis and then um, we use it to set the time, right? Finally, the script assembles a formatted string using the date and the version and then uh, it uses to set in the model using the comments command. So this uh, updates the properties panel under the parameter node um, with the latest version and the last updated date. Now this is quite useful if you have many different versions and uh, like maybe you're opening your folder after a month or so and you are confused what was the last model or changes that you did. Especially when if you're working on a super complicated model, you prefer to have different versions so that if something goes wrong, you have a backup file and so on. At least that is what I prefer to do. So this will be super useful. And uh, let us jump into the software and actually see how it is done. So I'm in Comsol now. So I have created this method. You can create a method by going to the developer option and then clicking on the new method, right? And now if I just edit the method and actually show you. So this method is designed to automatically update a version number and insert the current date into the parameters nodes comment section in console. It begins by defining a string called the version tag, which serves as the identifier for the internal version tracking parameter named auto version. Okay. So uh, you may have the version from the software like you can name it or you can use your own versioning depending on your modification you make for example let's say you are working on some uh, structural model and you want to save different version depending on some structural parameter or variable you can do that by modifying uh, the string just by adding different values and numbers so that will give a detailed overview of what versions you are keeping or not. Okay, so after this, uh, after we set this auto version, an integer variable version is initialized to one, okay? Which acts as a default starting value, you can think like that. So the method then attempts to retrieve the existing value of the auto version parameter from the model using uh, the model parameter function. If it exists and it is valid number, it is uh, actually passed into an integer incremented by one and stored back into the version variable. 
if the parameter does not exist for example the first time the method runs it will not be available right so in that case the code inside uh, the catch block keeps the version uh, at one okay so once the new version number is determined it's stored or updated in the model by calling uh, this particular uh, function ensuring the auto version parameter always reflect the most recent version count next the code captures the current system time in milliseconds using uh, this particular command so i just got this command somewhere uh, maybe you can use some other command to directly capture the date uh, and then initializes a calendar instance with that time step this calendar object is used to extract the current year month and day in a human readable format okay note that uh, the month value requires uh, adding one because java's calendar months uh, i think starts from zero so finally the method constructs a comment string using basic html like formatting tag recognized by console such as this s and uh, this cb this string includes both the date and incremented version formatting so we have like last updated on 2025 maybe 04 and some date and then the version number so it starts from one and then as many times it will run it will increment so it shows up in the property panel every time the method is executed it's uh, lightweight just like 17 lines and uh, automatically add like a versioning thing so i'll just quickly show you how it works so currently uh, let me just remove this auto version thing right okay so as you can see in the parameter uh, even i will remove this part okay so now it's empty you can see there is no comment nothing now when i run this and if i click on parameter you'll see that it's written last updated and the version now let's say i did some changes in the model and if i click on run once again you'll see i have this version 2 similarly if i run this again i will have version 3 and the date so you can have different file name uh, but you can modify the function so instead of version name you can have some other parameter depending on whatever model you are working and increment or change accordingly so even you can have some value of a parameter as a comment and then you can describe that what particular changes you have done and you can iterate uh, within it so uh, since this is like java command you can modify according to your need but this particular feature i found it quite useful this will also give a track of how many times maybe you have tried to run the model but just that you have to keep in mind to run this particular method so instead of running manually you can also try to tag it with some other execution so that it runs automatically but i haven't explored that till now uh, i prefer to run it manually and then save it so yeah that's it i think this may be helpful or this technique may be helpful um, for me it's helpful to save the version number of the file that i'm working but for you it may be something else but in any case this feature is really nice uh, if you want to work with a large number of files so that's it i hope it helps and uh, i think probably uh, very few people have ex actually explored this kind of method feature that can be used in your model so thank you for watching do support my work uh, if you like this video do give a like and also share your comment if you find any better use of method in this particular regard so yeah thank you for watching and have a nice day